at noon, some of the suspects charged in the murder of rapper XXX Tentacion were back in court today. Local 10 News reporter Alex Finney was at their hearing and reports from Fort Lauderdale. Lawyers waived a speedy trial for Robert Allen. He's just one of four people connected to the murder of South Florida rapper Jaseon Froy, best known as XXX Tentacion. Now to that high profile murder trial going on for three men accused of killing rapper XXX Tentacion. It's day three of testimony. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margul joins us live from outside the courtroom in Fort Lauderdale with what's happened so far. Yeah, the three men on trial right now are accused of murdering and robbing XXX Tentacion nearly five years ago at this point and this morning testimony is continuing. Now yesterday we heard from a fourth man who was allegedly involved. Robert Allen took the stand now as a state's witness having pleaded guilty to second degree murder back in August. The jury got to hear Allen talk about what happened that day back in June 2018 and watch surveillance video of the entire incident, concluding with a vivid description by Allen of the actual moment of the robbery and murder. He says as Trayvon Newsom was trying to steal XXX Tentacion's Louis Vuitton bag, the fatal shots were fired by Michael Boatwright. Morning today in the murder trial of rapper XXX Tentacion, the witness called to the stand has already pleaded guilty and is now turning on his alleged accomplices. Local 10's Ian Margul is live at the courthouse with it all. This case could go through March, and if these men are eventually found guilty, they could face up to life in prison. If you've watched a core drama, then you know that inevitably the case will take a turn that no one sees coming, and one side or the other will have to adapt to what has been revealed so that things can continue on or make their way to their natural conclusion. Despite it being years after his death, the case of XXX Tentacion is going on right now, and it's heading in a direction that likely no one thought. Because instead of just focusing on the men who were caught taking the life of the rapper, the defense team for them is blaming none other than Drake for his death. How does that work? Well, we'll break it down for you. But before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. Do you want the chance to win a brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max, MacBook Pro, or a $500 Amazon gift card? Find the hidden message that's in the video, comment it down below, and subscribe to the channel for a chance to win one of these amazing prizes. Don't forget to hit the like button, and good luck! And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Blaming Drake The defense lawyers for the three men accused of murdering rapper XXX Tentacion floated the possibility that rap superstar Drake might have actually been behind the 2018 slaying. Suspects Michael Boatwright, Trayvon Newsom, and Diedrich Williams are accused of carrying out the fatal shooting outside a Florida motorcycle store in what prosecutors alleged was a robbery that escalated to a cold-blooded killing. Each suspect is facing a first-degree murder charge, which is a very big deal that could end them in jail for life potential. But the legal team for the three defendants argued that investigators did not probe XXX Tentacion's simmering feud with Drake in the aftermath of the 20-year-old's untimely death. The rapper, whose real name is Jose Onfroy, once claimed on social media that if he ever ended up dead, Drake was the reason, though he later retracted that bold statement. The rapper's death came four months after 17 people were killed in a shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, which the defense argued put the highly scrutinized Broward County Sheriff's Office under under pressure to solve X's murder quickly without fully exploring the other suspects, including a celebrity. While that may be a bold statement, it's technically not an inaccurate one, as officers have been pressured in the past to get people locked up and things have been under-investigated as a result. But whether that happened here, that's another question entirely. For Broward County, for everyone involved, this was a nightmare, one of the lawyers, Mauricio Padilla, told jurors. Prosecutors say the shooting was the result of a robbery gone wrong, and there is no evidence linking Drake to the deadly gunfire. The Crime Boatwright, Trayvon, and Williams are accused of going to Riva Motorsports on June 18, 2018 to buy masks with plans to commit armed robberies, but decided to target X when they saw him inside the store, prosecutors say. As the rapper left the store in his BMW, Williams cut off the sports car with his SUV as Boatwright and Newsom rushed X's car to rob him, prosecutor Pascal Achille said in court. The trio grabbed about $50,000 that X had in a Louis Vuitton bag before Boatwright shot him multiple times without any provocation, she said. 
The trio of men are tied to the shooting through surveillance footage and cell phone spots, as well as the testimony of Robert Allen, a fourth man implicated in the rapper's death who took a plea deal and is expected to testify during the trial, Akil said during her opening. Some of the men also allegedly flashed the car they swiped on social media. They go on social media and start bragging that they have this influx of cash, Akil said. They flash it like it's Christmas Day. Boatwright's lawyer Joseph Kimmick said his client was home asleep at the time of the killing and cell phone data linked to him was a community phone used by several men. While he appeared with the money on social media that prosecutors mentioned, the money belonged to Allen and not Boatwright, he said. Newsom's attorney also argued his client was not at the scene. As noted, Boatwright, age 28, Williams, age 26, and Newsom, age 24, are convicted of first-degree murder. They would face life in prison. They also face robbery charges. Allen pleaded guilty to second-degree murder last year. The rapper was a platinum-selling rising star who delved into prejudice and depression in his songs but also drew heat over multiple arrests, including allegations he severely beat up and abused his girlfriend. He was also infamous for how he handled things inside the rap game in terms of his music and how long his songs were, but that's another matter entirely. Right now, you likely are wondering why someone is trying to point the blame somewhere else when it's clear that the men in court are the ones who did it. Well, it's not just about who did it, it's about who ordered it. There are crimes that are committed that are just as bad as doing things like murder. Ordering hits is one of them, because while you didn't point the gun and fire it, you made sure the trigger got pulled, and that's on you. Sadly, we know that hits go on in the rap world and many have lost their lives as a result. So to their credit, if they were to find a way to blame Drake for X's murder, that would add another person to the charter of charges and change the dynamic of the case. But the problem is that it's been years since the death of the rapper and the prosecution has no interest in going after Drake, as there's no proof that he did anything wrong. It also doesn't help that the defense tried to bring in all sorts of rappers into the case as witnesses, even though the only witnesses that needed to be talked to are the ones accused, and those who responded to the incident. So in the eyes of many, this is nothing but a wild goose chase to lengthen the trial and keep things from going forward. And yet there has been some movement on this. Drake has received a court order in the XXX Tentacion murder trial, forcing the OVO artist to either sit for a deposition or appear in court. The order requests Drake's presence for a deposition on February 24th. If deponent Aubrey Drake Graham does not appear to deposition, he must appear before this court on Monday, February 27th, 2023 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, so the court can determine why he should not be held in contempt. It reads, so yeah, that's a twist. The video testimony. Jurors witnessed for the first time Wednesday the gripping surveillance video that captured the murder of rap star XXXTentacion, who again was shot and killed outside a Broward County motorbike shop. Prosecutors showed the silent graphic video from June 18, 2018, documenting the final minutes of the life of X. According to testimony, the rapper was carrying $50,000 in cash in a Louis Vuitton satchel, money he obtained from a Coconut Creek bank. He intended to use the funds to buy a motorbike from the shop. Prosecutors said, Robert Allen pleaded guilty in August. August 2022 to second-degree murder. He spent most of the day on the stand telling jurors what happened in the moments before, during, and after XXXTentacion was shot. During opening statements, defense lawyers told the jury they would challenge Allen's account, with one lawyer saying essentially that Allen had lied in order to spare himself a life sentence. That's not an impossible statement, but it's also likely that he was telling the truth and that it didn't fuse well with the story that they were telling about Drake and others. Allen told jurors that the four men agreed on June 17th, 2018, to rent a vehicle in order to drive around and rob unsuspecting victims. We had masks to rob people, Allen said, adding that all four men would have guns in order to carry out their alleged crime spree. Allen said the idea to rent the car came from Williams, who Akil said was the getaway driver. Allen also said all of the men had face masks except for Williams which is why the group ended up at the shop. While there, they just so happened to run across X. Derek said, it's XXX, Allen said, while he and Williams were in the store. At that point, they began communicating with two others outside and hatched a plan to rob Onfroy while lying in wait for the rapper to leave the store after all four had returned to their vehicle, Nikhil said. The video captured a Dodge SUV blocking the rapper's BMW in the driveway as two men, one of them armed with a long barrel rifle, went to his car to demand his jewelry and take his designer bag. The video also 
also showed a front seat passenger identified as a family relative who ran from the car as the heist occurred. I couldn't see or hear what X was saying, Allen said, accusing Boatwright of firing up to three shots that killed the rapper. Allen said he didn't get out of the car because he'd been captured on a surveillance camera inside the shop and knew it would be used to connect him to the crime. I knew there was a good chance I would get caught, he testified. I did not want to get arrested. Immediately after the shooting, the four said they learned while listening to the radio that the rapper had died. The four ended up crashing the rented Dodge SUV when they rear-ended a stopped vehicle just a few minutes after the killing, Allen said. They all abandoned the vehicle and ran from the scene, but reunited after Newsom returned to the scene to get the vehicle. During his testimony, Allen testified that each of the men received $15,000 of the stolen money, but he only received $5,000 because he stayed in the vehicle during the robbery. The money, he said, looked like it came from a bank, Allen said. So that's the viewpoint of the robber. But what about someone a bit closer to the rapper? The friend. A family friend of the rapper XXX Tentacion broke down Tuesday as he told jurors how he and the rapper were ambushed by armed robbers as they drove away from the motorcycle shop, how he fled in fear and then heard the gunshots that killed the rising singer. Two men jumped out with guns, Leonard Kerr said. He said the taller man pointed his weapon at him and told him not to get out of the car, punctuating his command with a curse word. The other man was trying to pull the rapper's gold chain from his neck. Kerr said he could hear XXX Tentacion asking, what's this for? At that point, Kerr said he decided to escape, pushing the button that opened the passenger door. If I run, I can get shot, but I can live. If I sit, Kerr said, his voicing trailing off until he stopped to regain his composure. Some might wrongfully say that Kerr was cowardly because he fled for his life and left X to his fate. But here's the blunt truth. If you don't know what it's like to be in a scenario where your life is on the line, you don't know what you'd do. That's why it's called the fight or flight response. You either struggle or you flee. More times than not, either option is valid, especially if it's your body that reacts versus you thinking about it and making a choice. Besides, there's little doubt that Kerr felt horrible about the incident given how he testified. He'll have to live with what happened regardless of whether it was the right call or the wrong one. Bringing this back to Drake, you have two sides of the same story telling of a robbery that went too far. And if it was these men just trying to rob people, then there's no way that Drake was involved. But the defense keeps spinning its tail, so let's see what happens next. And there you go everyone, a look at what's been going on in the XXX Tentacion case and why Drake is being cited as the reason for X's death. Were you shocked at some of the statements that were made in this case? Do you think that things are going to get even crazier from here? Do you think Drake has anything to do with X's life being taken? Let us know in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.